Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome again. Uh, so in this video I'm going to uh, revisit the topic uh, about HTTP client. Uh, in one of my previous videos I already demonstrated how to use this uh, Internet Direct component uh, HTTP client and how to download something, how to um, use Throttler uh, to limit download speed etc etc. But today in this video I'm also going to show you an alternative to this component uh, and when you can uh, also use it. So uh, let's say that I want to um, get a response from this uh, REST API uh, that is located in, in this URL. So pretty much what it does, it just returns a random joke as a JSON uh, response. So if I go here and I paste this link, as you can see, it is not a secured co connection. It, it is HTTP, not HTTPS. And each time I run it, uh, it, re it returns a random joke, but it's not a secure connection, right? And uh, well, uh, in this case, I'm going to get the content uh, or the response of that REST API by using the GET method, uh, using the uh, Internet Direct uh, HTTP client. So when I run this application and click a button, uh, as you can see, it returned the content, uh, meaning the uh, JSON uh, response with a random joke, right? And it's it's all good. But the problem is if I uh, don't want to use uh, HTTP but uh, want to use a secure connection or in uh, most of the cases you need to use a secure connection, then if you run uh, the application and click a button, it will simply say cannot load um, SSL library. So why? Because uh, in order to establish a secure connection using Internet Direct components, you also need to use Open uh, SSL library. Uh, that actually means using uh, Open SSL DLLs. Uh, uh, these are the two that you need to use. So you can, uh, uh, for example, install Open SSL and get these two uh, DLLs. Uh, sometimes they are located in your Windows folder as well. So uh, I'll paste them here uh, in the same folder where my uh, application is. And uh, what I need to do next is to add a SSL component on the form here. And um, I'll just connect that component with HTTP. So I'll say uh, this HTTP uses OpenSSL as a handler and um, well that should do it so if i click here uh, now as you can see uh, now i'm getting the response uh, from a secure connection okay so i'm using a secure connection uh, sometimes you also need to uh, check out uh, with this component uh, SSL options because by default uh, it uses the TLS version 1 and uh, in some cases that will not be acceptable. Uh, mostly uh, you will need to switch uh, this method to for example TLS version 1.2. Uh, so if it doesn't work with uh, 1, uh, definitely try with the latest one that is 1.2. Okay, so what can you say about this approach? Uh, it works, uh, it's okay, but the hassle is that you need to uh, drag these two uh, DLLs along, uh, right? And uh, what I wanted to show you is uh, another approach that can be used in this case, and that is by using the uh, HTTP client component that is uh, located uh, by default when you install Delphi or C++ Builder, and I'll just put it here and um, I'll just copy the name and uh, instead of doing uh, this I will uh, say show message uh, get uh, to get what the same uh, uh, content And I'll say content um, as string. Uh, 
and when I click this I get the same thing but what is the difference uh, the difference is actually if you use uh, this uh, net HTTP client component that you don't need to use uh, OpenSSL library directly meaning that you don't need to have these two DLLs and we can easily test it by simply deleting those uh, two and if I run the application that we just compiled clicking here it works so uh, what I wanted to say is that if you have something simpler uh, you can always use uh, this uh, net HTTP client component as well as an alternative to this HTTP client I personally like to use uh, internet direct uh, component although uh, you have this uh, a bit of a hassle with OpenSSL but in general it uh, offers uh, more details and, and more features than this uh, component here for example if I see the events here um, and, and here well it, it's a diff it's a difference right but it all uh, depends on the level of details that you actually need so uh, I would recommend uh, to use this component if you uh, need something simple you need to access meaning uh, you need to access something on uh, HTTPS for example and uh, you don't want to drag um, uh, OpenSSL libraries along uh, that's it guys, I hope you will find this uh, helpful and uh, see you soon in the next video.